so to be born again all you need to do is to believe in your heart and confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord you must believe that he died so that you can be justified and that you are no longer a slave to sin amen so before we pray any question okay bro lady pastor sir my question is <clears throat> after salvation after i am born again what next because when we pray today now today will be number 15 time that i will be born again this year ah, don't look at me like that oh. i'm always sorry for my sin in fact I, I am always serious about getting saved I'm a, after the whole thing, I will still be feeling like a sinner. So, thank you, bro lady. Now, after you've become born again, the next thing is education. You must know your relationship with God, your sonship and stewardship. Then, you will learn and know about grace. How much it costs God to get you saved. Then, you will learn the ways of the kingdom and walk in it. This is what the Lord says. Stand at the crossroads and look. Ask for the ancient path. Ask where the good way is and walk in it and you will find rest for your soul. Good news is, the church is that crossroad, the school where the ways of God is being taught. So if you are in a church and you are not learning anything about God and the kingdom of God, you have been wasting your time and life. Now let me add a question to that. What are the hindrances to education and how do we tackle them? Because we have scenarios where people are born into the church and they grow old in the church, yet their lives do not testify to the fact that they are in the church. So I would like our viewers to please contribute to this matter in the comment section. The first question is, what next after salvation? And the second question is, what are the hindrances to a believer's education and how do we tackle them? So thank you for watching this video. We'll be expecting your comments in the comment section. See you next time. Please subscribe to this channel and share with your friends and loved ones. Lord bless you. Let us pray.